Hello, crafty friends, and thanks for joining me today. We're going to make this cute little congratulations card. Stay tuned. The stamp set we'll be using is Sadie the Sheep from the Fuzzy Friends collection from Woodwork Craft. I'm going to use a stamping platform here so I get a nice crisp image. I'll be using the licorice color from Pink Fresh. I got the cubes of the different colors here. So all you really need is a cube. You don't need the big pieces or the big pads, I should say. Now, make sure you have a paintbrush that you are not fond of because if you forget to wash it out, it's going to be ruined. I'm going to use the Aileen's Tacket over and over again. Squirt some out here. Now you want to make sure that you get it anywhere that you want any fuzziness. Getting all those crevices. Speed this up a little bit so you don't have to sit through all of that. And then make sure you wash your brush out when you are all done. So now we're going to take my Ranger heat tool to dry this up a little bit. And when you dry it, it is tacky. Now we're going to use just a plain old cotton ball and I'm going to dab it up and down on this to get some of the pieces of cotton off. And then I'm going to push down on them, make sure I feel if there's any stickiness left anywhere, pulling the long bits off. And then you can always shear your sheep with your scissors so it has a nice little haircut. And there is your fluff. I'm using the pale pink uh, from the Tri-Blend Spectrum Noir set. Now I am no uh, marker colorist. So don't take me as an example. This is just how I do it. I am still learning. These gray markers are just a generic set that I had found on Amazon. Taking the dark and the light and then blending the last bit. I take the light and blend it all together again. And I'm going to add a little pink to the nose. That's why I left that little spot. Just adding some shadow in there. I'm taking a blender marker to t try to help blend out those lines. Adding some black for his little hoofs or her little hoofs. Now this is just a little paper trimmer that I had found a Tuesday morning. Isn't it cute? Okay, my camera quit. It ran out of battery. So I missed some of the stuff that I had recorded. So this little ground underneath here I use this little speckled stamp that comes with the sheep set and I use that licorice and just did a stamp and then I stamped again to get that lighter color. This paper that I'm using is the floral collection from scrapbook.com. They have their own smooth cardstock paper and it is the green from that cardstock set. The card that I'm making here is for a five and a half by four and a quarter inch base. I'm going to take some glue and the Ranger glue in the matte medium. Very good glue. This paper I found on Amazon. I'll have a link for that. It's very thick, nice paper. Accent Opaque, I believe it's called. And now I'm just trying to decide where I want to put the congratulations stamp. 
I was going to add it directly onto the card, but then I decided to add a little sentiment strip there instead. using a stamping platform so it gets lined up all nice and neat. I'm using the white embossing powder from WOW. I am using the Versamark embossing ink to ink this up. And I got a little paper here so I don't get embossing powder everywhere and I can easily put it back in the jar. Put that on there. And I have turned my heat tool on so it is nice and warm when I am ready to get it. Then we use this to make it nice and shiny. These are the finger daubers from Spectrum Noir. And I have this little Simus's stamp, little cube holder. It works great. I'm using the licorice color again, using the finger dauber to go over top of the congratulations. And then when you're done with that, you take a rag and wipe off over your embossing. That lightens your embossing back to white. I'm just trimming off the ends here. Then I'm going to use a banner die that I just got second hand. It is from uh, Stamping Up, actually. And people have a hard time using this to get it straight because there are ridges there, but I just look underneath and then I can see exactly where it's going to trim it. It makes these nice little rounded edges. And I'm going to pop this sentiment up with some double-sided foam tape. I'm going to put it right on the bottom right corner. I'm going to go ahead and glue this on my card base. I'm not quite finished though. I wanted to add some embellishments. So I have my pops of color. This is the gloss key lime color. It's so pretty. And I have this little stencil here that I picked up secondhand at a thrift store. And I found that it is really cool to just put your pops of color in there. You got to be careful not to move it around. But then you get the nice little outline of your stencil. And I tap the back of the card, that way it settles down nicely. You don't have the peaks. You might still have some valleys, but you don't have the peaks that make it look funky or that put holes in your envelope going through the mail. Make sure you wipe off your stencil before you do it again, because there will be some pops of color on the back side of it as well, of your stencil. And also be sure to clean your stencil when you are done because the stuff sticks on pretty good. So you could use any shape in here and I'm not making it flat. It does have some dimension. Just adding some more dots. Be sure to not stick your hand in the ones you did. I'm sure you know why I know that, because I've done it many a times before. Just tapping the back again to flatten those out. And then I'm going to take some black uh, pops of color and use that for her eyeballs. Tapping the back trick works really good. And there is the card finished for today. Congratulations. I think it's pretty cute with that little fluff on there. Well, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. If you are inspired by this, please like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.